Uh, hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you good today? Evening. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm excellent. Thank you. How was your day today? How was your day? Your day was great, was good, was bad, was busy, tired, cansado. Excellent, Byron Enrique. ¿Cómo estuvo su día hoy? Estuvo genial, great. Awesome. Maravilloso. Fine. Yesterday we were learning about the simple present. How to make sentences with the simple present. Today we are going to continue this topic. So we are going to start the class in this moment. I'm going to share with you my screen. Let me know, please, if you can see it. Good evening. Yes, I can see. It's a lot. Yes. Yes. Okay. This is the topic we're going to study today. Welcome to your second class. A simple present. And today we're going to learn how to make question. That is what we're going to learn tonight. Here we go. And this is a review of the first class, class one review. So how do you get to work? We'll learn how to answer this question yesterday. How do you get to work? And I have here some examples, some answer. A volunteer, please, to read this answer. How do you get to work? I take, I take the bus. I try, I try to work. Excellent, thanks a lot. In the example, I have, I take the bus, I ride a bicycle, I go to work, I try to work. How does your sister get to work? How does your sister get to work? She takes, she the, takes train. the train. She rides a motorcycle. She wants to work. She drives to work. Things a lot. She takes the train, she rides a motorcycle, she walks to work, and she drives to work. ¿Y ¿Por qué tienen una S los verbos? Porque se habla en tercera persona. Things a lot because they are third person. Very good job. Things. They are third person. Let's see. To continue speaking about the third person of the singular, which are he, she, and it, I have this exercise for you. You have to read the sentence and choose the correct form of the verb be. So let's start. Look at this sentence. My brother three language fluently. The verb is a speak. So tell me, which is the correct form of the verb in this sentence? This is a speaks, speak, speaketh, or speak, yes. Letter A. Letter A. Speaks, yes, you're right, excellent. My brother speaks three languages fluently. Perfect. Let's see the other sentence. Daniel, his favorite program every Saturday. So the verb is watch. What is the correct 
form of the verb in that sentence? Letter, letter, letter C. C. Mm, I have no, letter two B. letter C. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. B. Letter B. Letter B. Thanks a lot. Letter B is the correct, right? Um, como el verbo termina en CH, so we are going to add ES. So watches. Yeah. Daniel watches his favorite program every Saturday. Let's see the next. My sister, her homework after school, the verb is do. What is the correct option? Letter D. Letter D. Letter D. Letter D, thanks. This is an irregular verb, and it's an in O, so we are going to add ES. Next one, Jessica, her mother, before she goes to bed, the verb is kiss. What is the correct answer? Letter A. Letter A. Letter A, okay. Jessica kisses her mother before she goes to bed. And the last one, Paul play tennis. What is the correct answer? Letter C. Letter A. Letter C. Yes, letter C, Paul plays tennis. A volunteer to read the first sentence, please. Who wants to read the first one? My brother speaks three languages fluently. Thanks a lot. Let it be the second one. Who wants to read the second one? Daniel watching his favorite program every Saturday. Thank you. The next one, please. My sister. My sister doesn't her homework after school. My sister does her homework after school. Thank you. Next one, Jessica. Jessica kisses the mother before she goes to be. Jessica kisses her mother, her mother before she goes to bed. Thanks. And the last one. Or plays tennis. All plays tennis. Excellent. Thank you. So I can see that you remember the last class. Today we are going to learn how to make question in simple present. Simple present, yes, no question. Let's start with this type of question in which you have two options to answer. You can say yes or you can say no. That's why the name, yes, no question. How we are going to write a question in simple present? We are going to need these two auxiliary, do and does. Also, we are going to need a subject and a complement and the question mark. We are going to use this structure to make questions. Look at this example. We are going to use do with the following personal pronouns. Do I, do we, do you, do they? Do I try to work? Do we try to work? Do you try to work? Do they try to work? And we are going to use does with the third person. Does he, does she, does it? Does he try to work? Does she try to work? Does it like cheese? And we are talking about a mouse in this case. Does it like cheese? We are talking about an animal in this case. Does it like cheese? So remember this, this is important. We are going to use do with the following pronouns, I, we, you, and they. And we are going to use does with he, she, and it. Do you have any question in this point? No questions? 
No. No. Then let's continue. Okay, there are two ways to answer. A complete answer and a short answer. We are going to see some examples of complete answer in the, at this time. So do you take the bus to work? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It's a good answer. That is a short answer. Look at complete answer. Do you take the bus to work? Yes, I take the bus to work. Do we ride bicycles to work? Yes. Oh. We take. No, we don't. So look at this example. No, we don't ride bicycles to work. The next one, do they take the train to work? Yes, they take the train to work. So complete answer. And third person, does she drive to work? Yes, she drives to work. Does he want to work? No, he doesn't drive to work. So I need two volunteers, please, two volunteers who wants to participate. To repeat. Uh, bueno. Para que se nos haga más fácil, pueden levantar su manita, por favor. Cinco. René N. René N. Any other volunteer? Thank you, Maria Cruz. Thank you. René and Maria Cruz. Maria Cruz, can you please read the sentence? Okay. Do you take the bus to work? And Rene, you are going to read the answer, please. <coughs> Maria va a leer las preguntas y Rene las respuestas. You can start, please. Okay. Do you take the bus to work? Yes, I take the bus to work. Do you ride the bicycles to work? No, we don't ride bicycle to work. Do they take the ride to work? Yes, they take the train to work. Does she drive to work? Yes, she drive to work. Does he want to work? No, he doesn't try to work. Insanat, now, what is your name? The person who appeared like Galaxy S21? Nelson. 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 <laughs> ah, okay, Nelson. Thank you. So I need another volunteer, Nelson and... Who wants to participate? Nelson and any other volunteer, please. Then I'm going to choose one. Ah, I'm sorry. Jonathan, please. Nelson and Jonathan. Okay. And then Elizabeth and Silvia. Nelson and Jonathan, las primeras tres. Y Elizabeth y Silvia en las últimas dos, please. <coughs> you can start. Do you take the bus to work? Yes, I take the bus to work. Do we ride bicycle to work? No, we don't ride motorcycle to work. Bicycle to work, perdón. Do they take the rain, excuse me, do they take the train to work? Yes, they take the train to work. Thank you. Now the girls, please, in the last two sentences. Yes, please. Does she drive to work? Yes, she drives to work. 
Does he walk to work? No. He don't drive to work. Thank you. Thank you. You did a great job. Thank you very much. So let's see. How do you pronounce this phrase? Just a second. How do you pronounce this? Doesn't. 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 Things a lot. Okay. How do you pronounce this sentence? Oh. We don't like to go to work. Okay. Don't like to work. Okay. No, we don't drive bicycle to work. Yes, I take the bus to work. Yes, they take the train to work. Yes, you drive to work. And the last one, no, he doesn't drive to work. These are examples of complete answer. Now let's see the short answer. Short answer. Do you take the bus to work? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Da, do. Do we ride bicycles to work? Yes, we do. No, we don't. No, we don't. Do they take the train to work? Yes, yes, they do. They do. No, they don't. No, they don't. Does she try to work? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Does he want to work? Yes, he does. He does. He doesn't. He doesn't. Excellent. Thank you. Entonces, utilizamos esta second you que vamos a responder I, yes I do, no I don't, con los siguientes respondemos con el mismo pronombre que nos preguntan. Do we ride bicycle to work? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Do they take the train to work? Yes, they do. No, they don't. With she, does she drive to work? Yes, she does. Or no, she doesn't. Does he want to work? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Do you have any question? No questions. Okay, then let's let's see the next thing. Yes. One question. Uh, Eh, ¿Puede retroceder la, la de... Yes, of course. What is your question? En las respuestas, en las respuestas largas. Ok. Veo que en las afirmativas sí se le agrega la S a Dries, Y en las negativas no se le agrega, ¿verdad? Ah, uh, in this case is because the third person is in the auxiliary. La tercera persona está acá en Dasen. Ah, ok. No, que Dasen Drive. Ok. El auxiliar okay. elimina la S, entonces. Sí, porque el auxiliar va en tercera persona, Das. Entonces, no le quita la S, ¿verdad? Ya el verbo va normal. No, okay. que Dasen Drive to Work. El auxiliar es el que va en tercera persona, Das. No, he doesn't. Any other question? No hay más preguntas? Then let's continue. Thank you for your question. Me, me teacher, me. Tell me, Beatriz, what is your question? Tell me. This is, in this case, this rule is always. Yes, uh, if it is a negative sentence in third person, which is she, he, and also it, we are going to use doesn't plus the third. Uh -huh. Más el verbo sin S, ¿verdad? Sin S. She doesn't drive to work. Le quitaríamos acá la S. ¿verdad? She doesn't drive to work. Okay. It doesn't work. Esto no funciona. ¿verdad? It doesn't work. Okay. Y el verbo iría normal. Okay. Any other question? Thank you. Questions? 
No more question. Then let's continue. Gracias por sus preguntas. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Short answer. We are going to use short answer to answer this question. Number one. Does he go early to work? Um, let's see. The purple color are affirmative answer and the blue color are negative answer. So does she go early to work? Yes, she does. Yes, he does. Yes, she does. Okay, excellent. Yes, she does. Do Carmen and Kere work at night? No, we don't. We think. No, they don't. Oh, we are going to use we or they. What do you think? They. They, yes, we're going to use they. No, no, they don't. Thank you. No, they don't. Let's go with the next one. Do they like cheese? Yes. 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 They, yes. they, they do. Those. They okay. do. Yes, they, they do. do. Yes, they do. They do. Okay, excellent. Yes, they do. Does Leo ride a motorcycle to work? Yes. No. 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 He, no. he does. No, he don't. No. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. That is the correct answer. No, he doesn't. Then does Kevin study French? Yes, he does. Yes, he yes, he does. He do. He does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. In the next one, do you wash your clothes? No, I don't. No, I don't. Do you wash your clothes? No, I don't. I don't. That's the answer. So does she go early to work? Yes, she does. Do yes. Carmen and Katie work at night? No, they don't. No, they do don't. they like cheese? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Does Leo ride a motorcycle to work? No, he doesn't. Does Kevin study French? Does. Yes, he does. Yes. Do you wash do you your clothes? No, no, I, I don't. don't. No, I don't. Excellent. Don't. Excellent work. You did a great job in this part. Thanks a lot. Let's go with this. Information question. Why did you go to work? Information question. Ahora, las, las anteriores solo teníamos dos opciones de respuesta. Yes or not. Yes or not. But in the information question, usted tiene que dar información, ¿verdad? Information oh. question. No podemos responder sí o no. Eh, ¿Cómo vamos a formar este tipo de oraciones? How we are going to make the sentence. We are going to follow the, ne the next structure. We are going to use do, does, subject, plus a complement, and the question mark. Esta es la estructura de las anteriores. ¿Dónde vamos, en, ¿Dónde vamos a escribir entonces las WH work? Como what and when. Ellas van a ir al principio. Al principio de la pregunta. WH work, do or does, subject, complement, and the question mark. That is the structure of this type of question. Let's see, for example, what time... What time do you go to work? Acá tenemos WH word, in this case WH phrase, what time do you go to work? Auxiliary, subject, the verb, the complement, and the question mark. What time do you go to work? And I have here the answer at six o'clock. In su caso, what time do you go to work? At four o'clock. Okay. Pueden, ap ¿Pueden really? apagar really? sus micrófonos un momento, por favor. Hay alguien que tiene interferencia. Apaguemos todos nuestro micrófono un momento. 
thank you. Thanks a lot. So what time do you go to work? That is the question. ¿A qué horas se va a trabajar? At six o'clock. Uh, William said at four o'clock. Any other answer? What time do you go to work? At six o'clock. At six o'clock, okay. At Al six a.m. How do you say, how do you say uh, the same minute for the prox, proxima, proxima next, what, next hour? Uh, 10 to. 10 to, yes. Ah, okay, at uh, 10 minutes, 10, Seven, EM. Okay, I go to work at 10 to seven. 10 to seven. Yes. Okay. Serían 10 minutos para las siete, ¿verdad? Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Next question, when do you take the bus to work? When do you take the bus to work? <clears throat> Every day? In this case, you can say sometimes, never, on Monday. on Monday. What time do you have breakfast? That is the next question. What time do you have breakfast? At seven o'clock. At seven o'clock. At eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. At five o'clock. Thank you. You see, at eight o'clock, at seven o'clock, at nine o'clock. When I arrive to my work. When I arrive to my work, okay. What time is it? Okay, what is it? Eight. Says? At eight o'clock. Eight. At eight o'clock. Okay. Thank you. When does he ride a bike to work? This is interpersonal. On Monday. On Monday. On Monday, what time does she have lunch? Uh, Sometime at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Between, between 11 at 2 p.m. At 11 or at 2 p.m.? Yeah. Ok. Si no logra almorzar a las 11, hasta las 2. Exactly. Ok. Excellent. Then look at this. Don't forget this structure and WH word. Do or does subject complement in the question mark. And here are the examples and how to answer them. ¿Cuáles otras WH word conocen? Aparte de what que pregunta por una cosa, what, and when, how, 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 how it's another example, which other one, why, why, thank you, that yeah. asking for a who? reason, who, who, where, how, who, who? We? and where, uh, where, where, when, where, where, why, which, Oh, which, oh. which is another one? Oh, where? Okay, they are what, when, why, who, where, where. which, and how. Those are the WH word. Cualquiera de ellas que sea va a ir al principio de la pregunta. At the beginning of the question. Look at this. Here, what, when. Y después va la auxiliar, do o das, depende, ¿verdad? Si es tercera persona o no. Subject, el sujeto, que sería acá, you, you, eh, he and she. Serían los sujetos en estos ejemplos. Uh, the complement and the question mark. Don't forget about the question mark in questions. Let's practice. Do you get up early to work? Do you get up? Yes. Teacher. Yes. Uh, a question for the uh, slide 
Uh -huh. uh, this first line say what time, but yes. not say what do time, why? Oh, this is a phrase. This is a phrase of what time para preguntar acerca de la hora, a qué horas, what time. Entonces va unida. In this case, is, in this case, is rural. Yes, always. We are going to use it always. What time? What time do you go to work? It is an expression that we are going to use always. What time do you go to work? Yes, yes. I question. My question is uh, around be by. I can see when and then do that plus subject, but in this first line, it's not. Yes, es una expresión, verdad? Que vamos a utilizar siempre de esa manera para preguntar okay. la hora en que hacemos algo. Look at this. I okay. have this in the first question. What time? And also in this other one, what time? It's is, a exception. It's a exception. It's an exception, yes. We're going to use it in this way because it's a phrase. What time do you have breakfast? What time does you have lunch? Oh, okay. okay. That's why. Thank you for Thank your question. You. Thank you. What time? La respuesta siempre tiene que mencionar una hora. Así es. What time? Y cuando utilizamos when, es un, el día. Tiene que ser el día. Así es. When, when does he write a bike to work on Monday? And when do you take the bus to work? And it's every day, todos los días. ¿Alguna otra pregunta in this part? Do you have any question? No more question? Okay, thank you. Thank you for your question. Very good question. So let's practice. Do you get up early to work? Do you get up early to work? 4 and 30 a.m. In this case, it's a yes, no question. So we're going to answer yes. I do or no, I don't. O con una respuesta completa. Ah, ok. To say, yes, I get up at. Y yo estoy ah, okay. la hora. Ok, yes, I get up at 4 no, and 30 a.m. Thank you. O simplemente usted puede decir, do you get up early to work? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do no. you work at night? Do you work at night? No. No, I don't. No, I not. No, I don't. I don't. No, no, I don't. I don't. No, I don't. Okay. What time do you start working? Now, this is an information question. You have to give information. What time do you start working? Uh, I start my chief at 7 a.m. Yes, it is. I start my shift at 7 a.m. Yes, that is a good sentence. Thanks a lot. Do you, do you try to work? What time do you start working? Any other I answer? Work, I work in the Constancia. Okay, so do you have different shifts? Um, no, really. <laughs> no, okay. Next one, number four. When do you work? When do you work? I work to Monday and Saturday. Every day. Okay, you can say every day. Of you can say from Monday to from Monday to Wednesday, for example. The lunes and miércoles. When did you work? 
Number five, do you try to work? Yes, I try to work. Yes, I do. I yes, uh, I do. No. Yes, I do. Yes, oh, I yes, do. I try to work. That was an excellent oh. answer too. Okay. What do you do in your free time? Look at this another question. It's an information question. What do you do in your free time? ¿Qué haces I, su tiempo have, libre? I, um, I smoking. <laughs> okay, you say I smoke. I smoke. I smoke. Yes. And I drink coffee. Okay, I drink coffee. Things. What do you do in your free time? Uh, Any I, other I, answer? TV. I watch TV. Thank you. I watch TV. I fair play. I fair play soccer. I play soccer. I play soccer. Any other answer? I study, pero no se me queda nada. I study. <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't worry. You know, don't worry. Uh, continue studying, right? Study hard and you are going to see the results. Usted va a ver los resultados. Estude bastante. Oh, what do you do in your free time? Any other answer? Come on, tell me. I what listen to music. To? Thank you. I listen to music. I watch TV. I watch TV, I watch movies, I watch videos on YouTube. I chat. I chat with my friends. I text. I text with my friends. I text with my friends. Uh, any other? What do you do in your free time? Disculpe, teacher, es que nosotros no tenemos tiempo libre. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Lo siento, entonces. I okay. watch TV. Okay, I watch TV. Thank you. Nice. Gabe Cameron. No. Oh, can you please? Cameron, what? I use, uh, sleep. <laughs> sleep. <laughs> oh, I go to the, the Cameron. Okay. <laughs> well. Okay, now look at this. There are two types of questions. Remember this, please. Yes, no question and information question. Las preguntas de información siempre comienzan con una WH word, que es what time and when, in this case, what and when. Pero puede ser cualquiera de las otras, how, why, who, where, and which. Y cuando la oración comienza con el auxiliar do o does, entonces es una Yes, no, question. And you say, yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. And so on. So, let's continue with this. Look at the next sentences and tell me what is the mistake. Tell me what's wrong with the sentence. ¿Cuál es el problema con la oración? Do he like basketball? What's wrong with the sentence? Find the mistake. What is the mistake in the sentence? El, el auxiliar do. Oh, the auxiliary do. Debería de ser. ¿Cuál auxiliar? Does. Which auxiliary? Does. Muy Does. bien. Does. Does. Excellent. Look at the next one. I like eating pizza. What's the mistake? Is like. In the verb. Like it is. It is the bird, the subject. What's the matter like with this? What's like. wrong with this? Like the bird, like. El verbo es el problema, ¿verdad? I no es tercera persona, entonces el verbo no debería de llevar. Es. 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 Muy bien. Uh, Excelente. Is. One, one question. Este, de entre dos verbos. Este se le pone to. Algunos verbos como like, pode, podemos hacerlo to eat, I like to eat pizza, o I like eating. Pero hay otros verbos como love, hate, eh, let's see which other one, enjoy, 
que tiene que ser ING estrictamente, ¿verdad? solo ING, así como está acá, Irin. Pero solo aceptan gerundio. I love eating, I hate eating, I enjoy eating. En el caso de like, se pueden utilizar ambos, eating o to eat. I like to eat o I like eating. Eso es cuando hay dos verbos, ¿verdad? Let's see the next one. She do her homework on the service bus. Así como oh, ustedes. The mistake is do. That's, 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 ok, el, el error está en el auxiliar, ¿verdad? En este verbo es el verbo, no está como auxiliar, está como verbo. She does, she does her homework on the service bus. Así como ustedes, ¿verdad? En el bus van resolviendo la plataforma. Excelente. Ok, nice. Tenemos que aprovechar el viaje. Next one. Eh, what is the meaning? Robar? Eh, es, <laughs> that is a uh, steal. Steal. Yes. Uh, well, in our beautiful El Salvador, everything could happen in the bus. So be careful. <laughs> be careful. The film yes. finish yes. at eight. The film finish at eight. Finish. The verb finish. Is, okay, the mistake is in the verb. Finish. Finishes. Mm -hmm. My friend goes on holiday next week. And is goes. Goes, right? Because my friend is plural, so they go. The verb must be go. My friends go on holiday next week. Next week. She carries her little sister to the car in the morning. Carry the bear. Carry the bear, right? Termina en consonante y griega, entonces tendría que tener. A-E-S. A-E-S. Excellent. Okay. You are smart students, things. Nicole Kidman act in a lot of films. Per act, act as is. Excellent. The, uh, the per act must be in third person with an S. Nicole Kidman acts in a lot of films. Yeah. We place in the garden at break. The mistake is per place. 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 We play. Are you sure? We play. We play in the garden. Garden. We play in the garden. In the garden. Break. Break. Find the mistake. Break. 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 We play in the garden. Break. A break. Yes, the mistake is in the bird. It must be played without an S. Sin ese, we play, we play in the garden and break. Our teacher talk very clearly. The mistake is the word talk. Yes, yes, your teacher talks very. Okay, yeah. excellent. So here are the answer. Number one is does, does he like basketball? I like eating pizza. She does her homework on the server bus. The film finishes at eight. My friends go on holiday next week. She carries her little sister to the car in the morning. Nicole Kidman acts in a lot of films. We play in the garden at break. Our teacher told very clearly. Okay, you are very good finding mistake. So muy buenos encontrando los errores. Thanks a lot. You did an excellent job. Thank you. So this is the second topic we're going to study tonight. And it has to do with preposition of time. Las preposiciones de lugar, ¿verdad? So they are at, in, and on. Son los tre las tres preposiciones de tiempo que vamos a estudiar este día. At, in, and on. La confusión es que en Spanish ambos significan en. That's why. So, at, in, and on. 
si tienen diferentes usos. Y vamos a verlos en esta tabla. We are going to use at to a precise time. Para un tiempo preciso o específico utilizamos at. And I have here the examples at 3 o'clock, at 10.30 a.m., at noon, at dinner time, at bedtime, at sunrise, at sunset, at the moment, at night. Para momentos específicos, we use at. Y ahí están los ejemplos. At noon, at noon, at dinner time, at bedtime, at sunrise, at sunset, at the moment. Any no vocabulary in that part? Vocabulary nuevo en esa parte? Sunrise. Three. Sunrise. Sunrise significa amanecer. That's the meaning, amanecer. En sunset es lo contrario, el ocaso o la puesta del sol. Any other question? Bedtime. What is bedtime? At bedtime. La hora de irse a la cama, ¿verdad? At bedtime. La hora de ir a dormir. Dinner time, la hora del almuerzo, at noon, al mediodía. Para eso utilizamos at. Ahora vamos con in. In lo vamos a utilizar con month, years, decade, centuries, and season. Vamos a utilizar in antes de los meses, años, décadas, siglos y estaciones. Look at the example. In May. In summer, summer, in the summer, summer in, in 99, summer. in the 99s, in the next century, in the ice age, in the, in the, the, past, the, in the future. Hello? Sigue en at. Sigue en at. La par aparece. No, está en la, la par. Oh, It's here. Ah, excuse me. Sorry, 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 sorry. No problem. Okay. I was scary. So, which screen are you watching? So you say. <laughs> <laughs> on, on, lo vamos a utilizar con días y fechas. On Sunday, on Tuesday, on March 6th, on December 25th, 2010, on Christmas Day, on Independence Day, on my birthday, on New Year's Eve. Entonces, en estos casos específicos utilizamos at, in, and on. Recuerden, recuerden eso, at, precise time, tiempo específico, hora precisa, in, con meses, años. 20 días. Eh, 2010, to, to, oh, 2010. 2010. 2010, yes, 2010, o oh, 2010. Oh, thank you. Teacher. Yes. Why sometimes uh, I read uh, on the beach, for example? On the beach? Mm -hmm. On the beach. Uh, it's a good, uh, it's fine. Eh, es at the beach I am at the beach en la playa sería at pero eso ya es preposición de lugar cuando estamos hablando de lugares um, in this case is time eh, ah, pero okay. si hay una pequeña confusión ¿verdad? porque at in and on también funcionan como preposiciones de lugar uh -huh. correcto Yeah. In, okay. dentro, on, sobre. Yes, in, uh -huh. dentro. Uh -huh. Pero cuando los estamos utilizando como preposiciones de tiempo, estos son los usos que tienen. Ah, ok, ok. Thank you for your question. Thanks a lot. Very good question. Do you have any question? Any other question about this? When we're okay. going to use at, in, and on? What, uh, what is this different in, in, in 1990 sin S y con S? 
Ah, muy bien. Acá estamos hablando de un año in 1990 y acá estamos hablando de una década in the 1990s. Acá década decimos de en 1990 y acá decimos en la década de los 90. Okay. The, the letter is this. Eh, indica década. Yes. Okay. Así es. In the 1990s. Que fue en los noventas. En los noventas. It's a like uh, homes. Home or oh, home or families. For example, family, families Gonzalez. Oh. R.S. The Finnish. <coughs> No, that's no. that's different. Um, uh -huh. that's, that's kind of de González. Sí. Pero esa S significa pertenencia, que algo le pertenece a ellos. Ajá, ajá, ajá. En this case, no. No, en this case eh, es solo para mostrar que es una década. In the 1990s, uh -huh. in the 1980s, 1950s. Uh -huh. Y cuando indica pertenencia lleva un apóstrofe. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. Thank No problem. Thank you for your question. No more question in this part? No. No, let's continue then. So next exercise is, look at this. I have a meeting at 9 a.m. That is an example, no exercise. The shop closes at midnight. Midnight or sonoras específicas. In England, it often is now in December. Uh, es un mes, entonces utilizo in. Do you work on Mondays? Días, utilizo on. Do you work on Mondays? Her birthday is on November 20th. Su cumpleaños es el 20 de noviembre. And do you have a party on New Year's Day? It's a holiday, a day, right? So on New Year's Day, I use on in that part. Okay, then let's practice. We're going to have this little practice. What time do you go to work? What time do you go to work? That is an information question. Who wants to answer this question? What time do you go to work? Tell me, at tell seven, me. At seven o'clock. Thank you, Maria, at seven o'clock. Any other answer? I work o'clock. maybe A. At A o'clock? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jaime, thank you, Nelson. Six o'clock, thank you. Any other answer? What time do you go to work? At eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. At seven o'clock. At seven o'clock. So, what time do you start working? Eight a.m. Eight a.m. o'clock. Yeah. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Ok, it's different, right? What time do you go to work? Sería la hora que usted sale de su casa. ¿A qué hora se va para el trabajo? En what time do you start working? Es la hora que usted comienza a trabajar. At nine o'clock. Ok, nine o'clock. Next, yes. Uh, why working? And what, what time do you start working? What time do you start work? Porque okay. la ING, si solo está preguntando a qué hora va, no, no, no es una acción. Yes, but there, is, there are two verbs. Hay dos verbos acá juntos. Start is one, and working, and work is the other verb. Entonces, después de este verbo, vamos a utilizar gerundio. So, what time do you start working? Por esa razón, ¿verdad? No puedo decir, what time do you start to work? 
Después de este verbo tengo que utilizar gerundio en, y el gerundio es la forma ing de los verbos. Working. Cuando, cuando dice, eh, o sea que no pueden ir dos verbos juntos. No, tiene, es un verbo principal y el otro que está funcionando, ¿verdad? Que tiene otra función, start working. O sea, el verbo principal en este caso es start. Ok. En el caso de arriba, go. El verbo go acepta la forma infinitiva, to work, y la forma ing. So, what time do you go working? Or what time do you go to work? O sea que en la segunda yo pude haber dicho, what time do you start to work? No, el problema es que hay verbos que sí se puede utilizar ambos. Hay verbos que se puede utilizar solo el infinitivo y hay verbos que se utiliza solo el ing. Ok. No, pero eso lo aprendemos de una lista, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok. Um, thank you. Thank you for your question. But that is the reason. That is the reason. There are two verbs together. Y para distinguir cuál es el principal, ¿verdad? To work sería la forma infinitiva y working el gerundio. That's why. Any other question? Where did you work? Where uh, did you work? Where do you work? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde trabaja? Where do you work? And you say, I work in San Salvador. I work, work in Cojutepeque. I, I work, work in San Salvador. Ok. ¿Any other answer? ¿Y cuál, cuál es la diferencia en lugar de, digamos, San Salvador y lugar específicamente del trabajo, de la empresa? Ah, uh, no, you can say that. Where do you work? You say, I work at La Constancia, I work at Coca-Cola, I work at Google. I work at English Corporativo, so... Es una pregunta general. Yes, it's, it's asking for a place. It's, yo dije lugar porque a veces no queremos decir dónde trabajamos. Okay. That's, okay. that's why. Pero sí podemos responder con nuestro lugar de trabajo o la ciudad donde está nuestro lugar Specific. de trabajo. Specific. Yes. Okay. So, what time do you arrive home? What time do you arrive home? I don't have time. Oh, you don't have time. Okay. ¿A qué horas, a qué horas llega a casa después del trabajo? That is the question. What time do you arrive home? I arrive home at 8 p.m. Okay, at 8 p.m., at 9 p.m., at 10 p.m., at 6 p.m. At 6 p.m. o'clock. Thanks. And the last question, what do you do on weekends? What do you do on weekends? I, I go to my family to a restaurant. I visit my family. Yes. Any other answer? Any other answer? I have very, very, very much tasks home. Okay. I had many, uh -huh. many uh -huh. homework. Many homework. homework. Oh, that, that is um, many chores at home. I have many chores at home. Tengo muchos que hacer. Uh -huh. Many. Or oh, housework. housework. I, I have a lot of housework. I drink uh, six beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I drink six beer. Nice. <laughs> Any uh, other? Any other answer? What do you do on weekends? 
with my family go to the park and uh, short. Okay, my family go to the park and short. Shop, okay, excellent. You have money. <laughs> short, uh, Iglesia. How do you say ah. Short, short. No, no Church. shop. Church. Uh, Church. Sorry, 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 sorry. Church. Short, thank you. Okay, no more question in this part. Then I'm going to say, let's see. Thank you for your attention, for your participation tonight. Uh, do you have any other question? I, I don't have a question right now. No question in this moment. Okay, yes. just, just remind you, please keep working on the platform exercises. Siga trabajando en los ejercicios de la plataforma, por favor. Eh, ¿Qué específicamente tenemos que hacer en la plataforma? Leí una pregunta similar en WhatsApp. So you have to watch the videos. Tiene que ver los videos y tiene que resolver los ejercicios. Tiene que resolver los ejercicios que están ahí para ir mm, subiendo en su porcentaje. Bueno, esos ejercicios le permiten ir subiendo en su porcentaje. Entre más haga, más alto va a ser su porcentaje. Yo no he hecho ni uno. <laughs> bueno, today is a good time to start. Hoy puede comenzar, ¿verdad? Uh, bueno, si no, mañana en su tiempo libre, ¿verdad? Que tengan por ahí un poquito de tiempo. Después del almuerzo, pueden hacerlo. Cuando llegan a casa, pueden in ingresar a la plataforma y resolver algunos ejercicios. Dígame. Y en el, en el caso mío, no hay ningún problema. Yo trabajo solamente los fines de semana en la plataforma porque durante la semana se me hace como que un tanto difícil poder avanzar, pero en todo el día sábado a más tardar domingo son prácticamente los días donde yo avanzo en la plataforma. El... No habría ningún problema. No es necesario trabajarla todos los días, ¿verdad? puede que hoy sí pueda, mañana no, y en su caso los fines de semana. Lo importante es avanzar, ¿verdad? ir completando las secciones en la plataforma. Tiche. Dígame. Yo hasta hoy okay, pude gracias. ingresar. Yo hasta hoy pude ingresar y he visto que dice sección 1 hasta sección 5. De la sección 1 son 10 ítems. Eso es solamente la sección 1. Digámoslo, se podría decir que es la primera semana de trabajo. No, mañana les voy a presentar cuál es el, digamos, el avance, ¿verdad? Cuál es el avance indicado Ajá. para cada una de las semanas. En las primeras dos semanas tenemos que cubrir sección 1, sección 3 y al final de la segunda semana hacer el midterm. Y después en Ajá, la cuarta. Pero... Es que, ajá, pero es que como aquí dice nice car eh, le, lección de objetivo luego dice el simple present que ya vimos y después dice knowledge check uh, y de ahí es, esas 1.5, 1.6 dice en la sección 1 let me show you this Uh -huh. A second, what is it? Bueno, mañana yo les presento el calendario, ¿verdad? De el avance mínimo que tenemos que llevar, ¿verdad? Para que vayamos bien en la plataforma. Se los voy a presentar mañana. Y también vemos bien? mañana los ejercicios. Acá están las secciones. Ok, acá ustedes van a ir viendo, ¿verdad? Cuando se les ponga en verde, significa que ya realizaron esa sección. Sección 1. Okay. En la sección 1 va a encontrar todo esto. El librito solo muestra el objetivo que vamos a aprender. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Después tenemos un video explicativo. Acá. Lo vemos, ¿verdad? Cuántas veces usted quiera. ¿Cuántas veces sean necesarias? Usted las ve. Ve el video. 
Después vamos al siguiente objetivo, aparece otro video y después vienen los ejercicios. Acá está, donde dice no, let's check. Ajá, um, ajá. Ahí es, voy, ahí eso es lo que es le como pregunta. poniendo en práctica los conocimientos. Ajá. Entonces acá leemos las instrucciones. In this case, listen to the interview. What are these people going to do? ¿Qué van a hacer ellos? Y damos play, si es un video, si es un audio, si es una lectura o si son preguntas de resolver, resolvemos los ejercicios y después se nos activa esta ventanita que dice submit. Teacher, sí. yes. Ahí donde está 1.4 a mí no me aparece video, solo me aparece texto. Ah, no, eh, eh, this is another one. El curso de ustedes es este. Ah, sí, no ajá. Me, me extrañaba porque <risa> decía sí, eso. Ajá. Ah, sí, Como ese me parece. Solo le estaba mostrando la barrita de words. progreso. Le estaba mostrando ah, solo la barra de progreso, pero el del curso nuestro ajá. es este. Es, es okay. este. Acá está. Nice card. Then we have the objective. Ah, another video. Ajá. And the knowledge check. Y aquí vamos a ver, vamos a completar esa conversación. My family and I. Si quiere lo puede llenar, teacher. Live or lives. <ríe> si tiene alguna, algún problema, entonces me escribe ¿verdad? al WhatsApp y yo le ayudo. Pero acá, este es el ejercicio que tienen que completar. Por My hoy, family por and hoy. I. Hasta aquí, hasta aquí. No, no hay límite. Recordarles que no hay un límite. Usted puede trabajar todo lo que usted guste, ¿verdad? En la plataforma. Ah, ya. Yeah. El Pero media, ve, media vez lo hayamos visto. No, eh, eh, de hecho, este, deberían completar primero la plataforma y después en la clase traer las dudas, ¿verdad? Traer mm. las dudas que surgieron en los ejercicios. Ah, no, es, no es necesario esperar a que tengamos la clase Espera y después la clase. voy y resuelvo. Tiene que ser antes. Ah, vaya. Está bien, sí, como, como es primera vez que entro, por eso tenía esas preguntas. Está bien, estamos para ayudarle. ¿verdad? Cualquier duda o pregunta en el grupo de WhatsApp. It has been a pleasure to be with you tonight. Thank you, guys. Gracias. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.